Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you a new project that I've worked on. Uh, it's a project basically an air mouse, but I call it the air clicker. <coughs> like I said, it's basically just a mouse that you hear like a golf, and as you move over your hand, move your hand in a certain direction, it moves the mouse pointer. And it has a voice recognition module here. The voice recognition module here. So I use that for the left click, right click, double click, and all those all, all, all that clicking command. But why did I make a mouse like this? You can basically use our normal mouse. So the reason I made this was I'm primarily targeting individuals that have lost finger function. This could be spinal injury. So most, I know some individuals that their hand are kind of clenched like this, but they can't really use a mouse, they can't click, and gripping is kind of difficult. So the other argument was to, if they could just bear the mouse on their hand, that would eliminate the need for a grip. And since they can't also click, so you click using voice commands, you go left click, when you want to right, right click, you say right click, and does that for you. So the the mouse is based of an ES32 S3, <coughs> ES32 S3 board, and the voice recognition module and an accelerometer. Accelerometer Newton has an gyroscope in it. So I used to track the orientation of my hand to move the direction to move the mouse. Now, first of all, first I'm going to do so train the voice recognition mode to recognize certain keywords which is our left click right click and so on so let's get right into that training the df robot offline voice recognition module so this voice recognition module has default default voice command that is stored on it but you can also add as course add about 15 custom command 15 i think no 17 custom commands and if you go to the df robot wiki you can see all the default commands and how to add your custom commands i'm going to go over adding your own custom commands but first we're going to try and change the wake word so wake word is basically what we use to wake the df robot offline voice recognition module so it basically goes to sleep until you wake it up and after a while it goes up just the way you have the Google Voice Assistant on your Android phone. We have to say, hey Google, to wake it up. So you have to say a command to wake it up. The default command to wake it up is hello robot. We can add our own wake up command. I've added it. I've added my own wake word there. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that and train it again. So to delete, I just say I want to delete. But first I have to wake up the the f robot is asleep that's why i see the blue led is supposed to be on here it's not on so i just say hello robot hello robot yes i'm here i want to delete do you want to delete the learned wake word or command word wake word mm. delete wake word deleting successful okay now i've deleted the wake word i trained on it I want okay, to train. Got it. I want to train a new wake word. Okay, so, got it. Let's ignore it. Then we can now do learning wake word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please say the wake word to be learned. Mouse on. Learning successful. Please say it again. Mouse on. Learning successful. Please say it again. Mouse on. Okay. Learning completed. Now, whenever it goes back to sleep, if I say mouse on, it should respond. So let's wait for it to go back to sleep. I'm off now. Mouse on. Yes, I'm here. I so see it came back up when I said that word. So now we have trained a new command, a new weak word. Now before I go into the command mode, you can see I can add an external speaker to it. It does an English speaker, but it's very I'm off now. It does an English speaker, but it's very low. Like very low, so you can't really hear anything. 
has a contact antenna speaker and using this switch here you can switch between the internal speaker which is speaker one or the external speaker which is speaker two and that switch is for switching whether i want to use i2c or uart so now let's learn a new command word why i chose mouse on for the weak word was because i'm trying to create a mouse with it where i can just say some stuff to my computer and it does it that's why i said that's why i make the made the weak word mouse on how can i help <laughs> you recognize when i said mouse on so when i want to learn a new command word you just have to say learning command word learning now be quiet Please learn the command word according to the prompt. Please say the first command to be learned. Exit learning. Okay. The learning mode is exited. Now, if you want to exit learning, just need to say exit learning. This works both for when you're learning command word and when you're learning weak okay. words. Okay. Got it. Just ignore it. Now, we want to first delete the command words I've learned before. I've trained it to learn before. So, we say, I want to delete I'm off now. Oh, I'm just gonna mouse on. Yes, I'm here. I want to delete. Do you want to delete the learned wake word or command word? Delete command word. Deleting successful. Okay, now I've deleted the command word. Now most of the command word I've stored will not work anymore. So now let's show a new command word. Learning command word. Learning command word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please learn the command word according to the prompt. Please say the first command to be learned. Left click. Learning successful. Please say it again. Left click. Learning successful. Please say it again. Left click. Okay. Learn the first command successfully. Please say the second command to be learned. Right click. Learning successful. Please say it again. Right click. Learning successful. Please say it again. Right click. Okay. Learn the second command successfully. Please say the third command to be learned. Double click. Learning successful. Please say it again. Double click. Learning successful. Please say it again. Double click. Okay. Learn the third command successfully. Please say the fourth command to be learned. Click hold. Learning successful. Please say it again. Click hold. Learning successful. Please say it again. Click hold. Okay. Learn the fourth command successfully. Please say the fifth command to be learned. Release. Learning successful. Please say it again. Release. Learning successful. Please say it again. Release. Okay. Learn the fifth command successfully. Please say the sixth command to be learned. Exit learning. Okay. The learning mode is exited. So now we are finished training probably around like four command words. So let's click, right click, click hold Done. and release. Done. So basically, now it's recognizing this command as I said them. So basically what I want to do, I want to go to left click with voice command, right click with voice command, and also click hold that means i want okay. to click and hold and release i want to release okay. the got it release the button release when i do the when i hold down and left click okay so, so i'm basically it. doing it because i'm designing this glove for people who have lost finger functions so they basically can wear the glove and hover the hand around the screen to move the pointer while for clicking since they, they don't have finger I'm functions now. Since, they, since they don't have finger functions they can use left and they can click on buttons so they can just say left click to click right click to right click click hold to hold down now when you do the hold down and drag click hold then you move your hand to move the object you want to move around and um, release to release the to release the left click yeah there's also one cool thing you could do with this you can left click on that subscribe button and the like button so if you want to try out the other built-in commands on the DF robot, 
So let's play with them. But you can find the I'll drop a link in the description where you can find the custom command. But let's play with them. So just turn off the buzzer. First, let's wake up the the F robot. So, so mouse on. Yes, I'm here. Play music. Okay, start playing. Stop music. Stop playing. Okay, stopped. The last track. Okay, the last track starts. Turn off the speaker. Okay, the speaker is on. Turn on the buzzer. Okay, the buzzer is on. Set several to 45 degrees. Okay. So whenever you call any of these commands, it doesn't return back text to you. It returns back an ID number representing the command. So if you use custom command we added, there's an ID number attached to each of them. So the first custom I'm command, off now. So the first custom command takes number five, the next one six, the next one seven, the next one eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way to let me check the document. All the way to Okay, we have to count it, but where they put it, yes, all the way to 19. So from 5 to 19. Why other the other custom word, the other built-in word have their own fixed ID? So whenever I say what it returns by it returns the ID either via I2C or UART. I'm currently using I2C uh, and I love to use UART because it has more functionality, it allows you to access more functions of the module. But I had a problem with the UART. With UART, well, because I'm using USB CDC, so I want to be able to use my ESP32 as a HID device to function as a mouse. But for some reason, anytime I'm using USB CDC, all serial stop working. Serial 0, serial 1, serial 2, and ESP32 just stop working for some reason. So I opted for using I2C instead, and it works. So I just use that. If you have an idea why issues coming up, can you leave that in the comment section? I would love to find a way around that. Testing the mouse on the PC. And the mouse is blocked to my PC. What you have to do, have to do is to move the mouse. As I move my hand, the mouse moves in that direction. So I move this. Now, so I move down, it moves in that direction. Now, to left click or to right click or to click, we use voice command. So, let's try to open a file. Let's try to open this PDF file. So, first, I have to activate the mouse by saying the wake word mouse on. See, that black indicate the mouse is on. Double click. And see the PDF file is open. Now to close it, I have to go to the X there and say left click. So now let's test out right click. So let's go to left click. Now I've selected it. Right click. See now. Left click. Right click. Right click, as you can see that now. So I have tested left click, right click, double click. Now I want to do the click hold. So let's select an object first. I want to hold and drag. So left click, click hold. Now you can see if we move it, as you can see it's moving. Release, release. Let's see, we have released this, we have moved the file from here to here. So, I'm taking this second shot to show that we're not using any external mouse or the touchpad. It's not cool. Now I'm going to plug in the uh, mouse now. So let's plug this in. So we have to keep our hand still while you try to calibrate. You can try to calculate the offset. See this red light over here when it turns green. That means the mouse is done calculating offset. So you can now move the mouse. 
you can see the mouse is moving on the direction of our hand so now let's try to open wire shock over here all let's do is to say mouse on double click let's go to try to open wire shock as you can see that open wire shock so let's close wire shock back left click thank you guys for watching this video if you also want to view this project you can check the link in the description below so i, I went to detail on how i built the project so actually this project is part of a bigger project but if you just want to view the mouse alone you can also check the link in the description the link in the description leads to the whole project where this guy used to control the smartphone system but it was but you can also use the mouse on a pc or on a phone and please guys like this video and click the subscribe button and leave a comment please just say anything in the comment section hi or hello if you have a question drop in the comment section it really helps helps with the algorithm somehow it gives me a little bit more guys to watch for if youtube sees the activity in the comment section then turn into to more people also with the likes and i really need a subscription so thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye